Only two weeks into this company, and already it's gotten interesting. Joey is a man of ideas. And only ideas. When I agreed to start this whole thing with him, I thought there'd be a little more give and take. Instead, I give, and he takes. I haven't even seen Linda for days now. Still, someone has to make this happen. When in doubt, just keep drawing, Henry. On the plus side, I've got a new character I think people are going to love. All right, Joey. I'm here. Let's see if we can find what you wanted me to see. All right, Joey. I'm here. Let's see if we can find what you wanted me to see. Hey, here's my old desk. I wasted so much time in this chair. Hey, here's my old desk. I wasted so much time in this chair. Looks like they knocked out a wall or two after I left. Guess it took a few people to replace me. So this is the ink machine, huh? Wonder how you turn it on. So this is the ink machine, huh? Wonder how you turn it on. This lift could use a few dry cells. Let's see what you're hiding down there, old friend. Oh my god. Joey, what were you doing? Oh my god. Joey, what were you doing? Alright, how do I get this to work? Alright, how do I get this to work? Who put this here? <gasps> oh. Who put this here? Okay, that's all of them. Now I just need to get the ink flowing somehow. Should be a switch around here somewhere. Then I can start up the main power. Okay, that's all of them. Now I just need to get the ink flowing somehow. Should be a switch around here somewhere. Then I can start up the main power. This will definitely come in handy. This will definitely come in handy. What the heck is this? What the heck is this? I'm getting the hell out of here. I'm getting the hell out of here. I guess there's only one thing to do. Press on. See if I can find a way out. How did this place get so big? Hello? Excuse me, can you help me? Hello? Where the hell did he go? I need to get power to this gate somehow. Should be a couple switches nearby. Then maybe I can open it. It's really dark in here. Looks like the stairwell's flooded. If I'm gonna get out of here, I'll need to find a way to drain it. I know there's something I've got to do in here, but I feel like I'm missing something. One down. Well, there's the pump switch, all right. But that's one hell of a leak blocking the door, though. If I could just stop that ink from flowing, maybe I can get in. Oh no, there's no valve. Where did it go? Was that... thing holding my valve? Sorry I had to do that. Nice hat, though. Okay, that should do it. Hello? Someone there? I know you're in here. Come out and show yourself. Boris? I'm not getting out of here that easy. Need to open the door, but the lever is missing. Boris probably has it. Hey, buddy, have you seen that lever handle around? Or are you holding it hostage until I make you something to eat? I thought so. Let's see what we got. That should be enough. Here you go. Let's see what's out there. Don't wander off. Looks like it's really dark up ahead. Let's find some light. Don't be scared, Boris. I'll keep the light near you so you don't get lost. Did you hear that? Yeah, me either. Another dead end. I don't see any other way through. You got any ideas, Boris? Wow. I don't remember any of this. Why is there always something blocking the door? Gotta be a way through. Boris! Oh, you scared me to death. Don't suppose you found anything we can use to protect ourselves with. This will do. Looks like to open this, we're gonna need to throw two levers at once. You get this one. I'll find the other. What the heck was that? One down. There we go. This one's empty. Nothing in here. Another day, another dollar. Punching in. 
better get overtime for this. Always on time. Back to the old grind. Definitely something missing here. So that's how it works. I can get across here if I can find a way to fix this. This haunted house seems like the way to go, but it's gonna need some power. Hang in there, Boris. I'm coming. Looks like I've got some company up ahead. Without some kind of weapon, I don't stand a chance. There's gotta be a way around them. That's one. That's two. That makes three. One to go. That's the last one. Let's find out what's in that haunted house. <gasps> Boris! No, no, what has she done to you? I know that song. I was invited by an old friend. And now I can't leave. Are you gonna let me out of here? My name is Henry. I used to work here. You're the one that writes on the walls. Why do you call him Tom? Well, I don't think he's very fond of me. Where does it all lead to? Alice. Please let me out of here. And what do you think? What's going on? Sounds like something stuck in the paddle wheel. Was that him? Now that's interesting. Not these guys again. I better stay out of sight. How did you get down here? Look, I know where we have to go, but it's not going to be pleasant. The Ink Demon has something that we need. I'm going after him. That's where the trail seems to lead. We'll have to wait across. Then I guess it's all up to me. And I don't even know what I'm doing here. I don't even know why this is all happening to me. They could have at least given me a weapon. The end. Joey? If anyone finds this, my name is Henry. And I'm trapped far below Joey Drew Studios. A man I used to work for. There's crazy things happening down here. Monsters. Demons. Angels. And right now, two of them are holding me prisoner. I don't know how I'm going to get out of here. But there's more. There's a secret hiding in the shadows. I just feel like I'm being watched. There's something at work here. If anyone finds this, you must not... Hold on. They're coming back. It's me. It's Henry. It's been a while since I last recorded. Mostly been spending my days doodling, passing the time as best I can. I heard my captors arguing today. Seems they still don't know what to make of me. I guess that makes sense. I guess I don't know what to make of them either. In times like this, I wish Boris was still with me. He didn't say much Boris, but he was a good friend to have. I miss him. I just couldn't save him. But I promise, I will get out of the studio. If it's the last thing I do. This may be my last chance to record a message. I'm pretty sure he saw me talking into this thing. He probably won't let me keep it. There's not much left to say except... Linda... I miss you. And I love you so much. Coming back to this old place, well... It only reminds me of how much I gained. I feel like there's so many questions that need answering. So many things that don't make any sense. If anyone hears this, if you make it out, don't ever return. Because the main demon will find you.
Everyone knows that song. Who are you? Why are you here? Then you know more than we do. One minute, we don't even exist. Just... thoughts. And the next minute... this place. Down here, strangers aren't good things. How can we trust you? We don't even know what you are. I... I honestly don't know my name. So, they call me Alice. But I'm no angel. You go back and rest. We'll talk again later. It's only for a few hours, no need to worry. I won't go far. Only up to level six. Just stay here. Keep an eye on Henry, okay? I'll be back as soon as I can. I promise. Henry? Here, you must be hungry. Sorry, it's all we have. I know you're watching me. It's just... a little creepy. We all do. For some poor souls down here, it's the only way they can be heard. But you don't want to touch the ink for too long. It can claim you. Pull you back. That's how I met Tom. I was messing with things I shouldn't have been, and he... He was there. He just seems to respond to it. Let me show you something. A while back, I was mapping out one of the upper levels, when I noticed something reflecting off a piece of glass. I held up the glass, looked through, and on the wall behind me was a hidden message. Right there, in plain sight. So, I kept looking, and found more and more messages everywhere in the studio. But you can't see them with your eyes. Only through this. Take a look. I don't know who's leaving them, but I think they know how to get out of here. Nowhere. I followed them for a long time. Just leads me in circles. I don't think I meant to leave this place, Henry. But maybe... You are. Tom thinks you're dangerous. I... I think... You're the hope I've been waiting for. Go to sleep. Maybe tomorrow will be better. That was really stupid, Tom. You shouldn't have gone out there. Now that he's seen you, it's only a matter of time before he finds us here. We can't just leave him. Not with the ink demon right outside the door. He's coming. We have to move on. Tom, we have to let him out. Sorry. Oh, that was close. You're lucky we were in the neighborhood. I don't think so. The searchers and the lost ones built this place. Sammy must have been keeping them at bay. Now that he's gone... Looks like we're in for a fight. Get ready. Watch out! Here they come! Go back to your puddles! I've never seen this many before! Get away from me! We can do this! Keep fighting! I think that's all of them. But you never know where they're gonna crawl out of next. Probably best if we stay together from now on. Henry? Think you can lead the way? Henry! Looks like whatever was here was taken long ago. It pays to carry a rope. You should try it. You want to go to his lair? Are you crazy? That's death. <sighs> well, it's probably close by. Probably through that door. But it won't be easy to open. I'll need three gears, a crowbar, some kind of counterbalance. Huh. Well, that works too. I guess. Quiet. Don't make any noise. Wow. I've never seen this before. I don't see any way around. Nothing to build a raft with. We can't. We're not like you, Henry. If we go in there... Well, a drop of water in the ocean is rarely seen again. You're here for a reason, Henry. There's always a reason. Even when you can't understand it. 
time. Set us free. Sheep, 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 it's time for sleep. Rest your head, it's time for bed. In the morning, you may wake. Or in the morning, you'll be dead. There we go now, nice and tight. We wouldn't want our sheep roaming away now, would we? No, we wouldn't. I must admit, I am... Honored, you came all the way down here to visit me. It almost makes what I'm about to do seem cruel. But the believers must honor their savior. I must have him notice me. Wait, you look familiar to me. That face. Not now, for our Lord is calling to us, my little sheep. The time of sacrifice is at hand. And then I will finally be freed from this prison, this inky, dark abyss I call a body. Shh! Quiet. Listen. I can hear him crawling above, crawling. Let us begin. The ritual must be completed. Soon he will hear me. He will set us free. Sheep, 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 it's time for sleep. Rest your head, it's time for bed. In the morning, you may wake. Or in the morning, you'll be dead. Hear me, Bendy. Arise from the darkness. Arise and claim my offering. Free me, I beg you. I summon you, Ink Demon! Show your face and take this tender sheep! No! My lord! Stay back! I am your prophet! I am your... We've all been waiting, but now the wait is over. It's time to believe. See you soon. Here we are, my little sheep. It's time to believe. I'm having a little get-together. A little soiree. Just a few friends. A few screams. If you come, I'm sure you'll be the hot topic of the evening. Prepare yourself, my little sheep. We are about to begin. It's time to believe. We've all been waiting. But now, the wait is over. So first, Joey installs this ink machine over our heads. Then it begins to leak. Three times last month, we couldn't even get out of our department because the ink had flooded the stairwell. Joey's solution? An ink pump to drain it periodically. Now I have this ugly pump switch right in my office. People in and out all day. Thanks, Joey. Just what I needed. More distractions. These stupid cartoon songs don't write themselves, you know? Every artistic person needs a sanctuary. Joey Drew has his, and I've got mine. To enter, you need only know my favorite song. The banjo playfully plucks. The banjo, once again, strums its melody. The bass fiddle sings with deep articulation. The bass fiddle returns and sings aloud. The drum thunders in triumph. The drum echoes out once more. The piano delicately calls. The piano returns in graceful harmony. The violin shudders with a piercing voice. The violin again screams. Sing my song and my sanctuary will open to you. 
he appears from the shadows to rain his sweet blessings upon me. The figure of ink that shines in the darkness. I see you, my savior. I pray you hear me. Those old songs, yes, I still sing them. For I know you are coming to save me, and I will be swept into your final loving embrace. But love requires sacrifice. Can I get an amen? I said, can I get an amen? And we've all been waiting, but now he will set us free. The betrayed, abandoned. I trusted you. I gave you everything. And you left me to rot. Why? Why? I'm going to cut that smile right off your face. He said he'd save me. He said he'd set me free. Now I have nothing, nothing. He lied, he always lies. My lord, why have you forsaken me? Come here and put your face in my axe. No, don't look at me, stay away. Ah, you lied to me. You said I'd be free. Well, I'm going to free you now. Free your head right off your shoulders. Sheep, sheep, sheep. It's time for sleep. Henry, so soon. I didn't expect you for another hour yet. Now you're just trying to impress me. But I know, I know, you have questions. You always do. The only important question is this. Who are we, Henry? I thought I knew who I was. But the success starved me. Nothing left but lines on a page. In the end, we followed two different roads of our own making. You, a lovely family. Me, a crooked empire. And my road burned. I let our creations become my life. The truth is, you were always so good at pushing, old friend. Pushing me to do the right thing. You should have pushed a little harder. <sighs> Henry, come visit the old workshop. There's something I need to show you. wrong with dreaming. Wishing for the impossible is just human nature. That's how I got started. 
Just a pencil and a tree? We all want everything without even having to lift a finger. They say you just have to believe. Belief can make you succeed. Belief can make you rich. Belief can make you powerful. Why, with enough belief, you can even cheat death itself. Now that is a beautiful and positively silly thought. I believe there's something special in all of us. With true inner strength, you can conquer even your biggest challenges. You just have to believe in yourself and remain honest, motivated, and above all, who you really are. Okay, let's stop it right there. I can only do so many takes of this trash a day. And tell the guys in writing, I want more of these of the word dreaming in every message. Keep railing on that, get dreaming, dreaming, dreaming. People just eat up that kind of slump. Hmm, what? It's still on. Well, turn it off, damn it! A small memo to all administration offices. Rumors have begun to fly that we simply can't tolerate any longer. The idea that the company is in some form of financial difficulty is untrue, and the slanders lie against us. It's also been known to me that some backroom incompetents are not trusting in my leadership. As a leader, I'm always steering the boat, guiding our destiny, looking at the big picture. No need for you people to worry about such complicated things. Just do whatever it is you do and trust your leader, which is me. Listen, Tommy, I know you boys over at Jen are doing your best, but I'm paying for living attractions, not weird abominations. Whatever that great thing was I saw wandering around your office, you better keep it locked up tight. I realize it was a first attempt, but imagine if the press caught sight of it. Might scare off investors. And in response to your previous memo, if you claim that your failures are because these things are soulless, then damn it, we'll give them a soul. After all, I own thousands of them. I know how much this part means to you, Susie. Alice means a lot to me, too. Gosh, all of my characters do. In fact, I'll let you in on a little secret. I, too, really believe my characters are more than just drawings. They're alive. They're part of us. And I want people to know them as well as I do. I want people to be able to shake their hand, spend an afternoon with them, love them. Susie, I'll be straight with you. I'm putting together a small project, a little ceremony, if you will. If it works, a lot of dreams will come true. And I want you to be a part of it. I want you to bring Alice to life once again. What do you say? It's simply awe-inspiring what one can accomplish with their own hands. A lump of clay can turn to me if you strangle it with enough enthusiasm. Look what we've built. We created life itself, Henry. Not just on a silver screen, but in the hearts of those we entertain with our fancy moving pictures. But when the tickets stopped selling, when the next big thing came along, only the monsters remained. Shadows of the past. But you can save them, Henry. You can peel it all away. You see, there's only one thing Bindi has never known. He was there for his beginning. But he's never seen the end. You're worthy to walk with angels. You're so interesting. So different. I have to say, I'm an instant fan. Looks like you've got a date with an angel. Come to me now. Level 9. Just follow the screams. Come on. Step out of your cage. There's a whole twisted world out here. <laughs> Look around. It took so many of them to make me so beautiful.
beautiful. Anything less than perfect was left behind. I had to do it. She made me. Hmm. Now we come to the question. Do I kill you? Do I tear you apart to my heart's delight? The choices of the beautiful are unbearable. How's a girl to choose? <laughs> Take this little freak, for instance. He crawled in here, trailing his tainted ink to my door. It could have touched me. It could have pulled me back. Do you know what it's like living in the dark puddles? It's a buzzing, screaming well of voices. Bits of your mind swimming like, like fish in a bowl. The first time I was born from its inky womb, I was a wiggling, pussing, shapeless slug. The second time, well, it made me an angel. I will not let the demon touch me again. I'm so close now. So almost perfect. <sighs> yes, I will spare you. For now. Better yet, I'll even let you ascend and leave this place. If you will do a few eensy weensy little favors for me first. Return to the lift, my little errand boy. We have work to do. I'll make this simple. Look for valve pads. Turn the little wheels. Then bring me their power cores. Please don't make me regret sparing you. I can always change my mind. You're quite the efficient little errand boy, aren't you? There are so few rules to our world now. So little truths. But there is one rule we all know and respect down here. Beware the ink demon. Stay out in the open for too long and he will find you. For if you see him, you'd better hide. If you don't, well, I enjoyed our date. Now, let us begin our work. Have you met him? The ink. Demon. They say he hears everything. Every creak of the floor. Every rustle of paper. I wouldn't run so fast if I were you. You never know what will draw him in. Ah, that should be plenty. Return them to me. And try not to die on the way back. Return to me. Try not to die on the way back. Once upon a time, there was an angel. And she was beautiful and loved by all. She was perfect. No matter what Joey says. Have you seen them? The swollen ones. They're just stuffed full of extra thick ink. It makes me sick. And yet... It's the perfect thing for keeping myself together. If you're going to catch them, you'll have to learn to move quietly. Come back to my door. I have something that you'll need. How sickening. Oh, makes my skin crawl. But the task is done. Bring me back my equipment, please. There was a time people knew my name. It's Alice Angel, they'd say. Feels like so long ago. But those days can come back. Dreams come true, Susie. Dreams come true. My machines are hungry. Gather me some spare parts. You see those grinning demons? Let's remove them, shall we? I've got just the tool to make this even more enjoyable. Ah, now that was fun. Oh, but I forgot to mention. He hates it when I do that. I would hide if I were you. <laughs> Sammy said I had talent. You 
was always a good liar. Still, he was once a very handsome man. The disgusting wretches that have wandered my halls have gone unchecked. They're trying to drag me back to the darkness. Don't the teacher, our angel. Purge them one by one. Smash them into puddles. Get out now. So quiet. Like a welcoming grave. I like the silence. Don't you? Oh, I hate leaving work unfinished. Fortunately. I have you to pick up the pieces, but you'll have to go even deeper, down, 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 into the abyss. Take the lift down. Say hello to an old friend. Sending you a little present, a little firepower. Take good care of it. It belonged to someone very special. Oops. I forgot. It's a little hard to get a hold of. Oh well, better luck next time. <laughs> Shh. There he is. The projectionist. Skulking in the darkness. You be sure to stay out of his light. If you don't want trouble, just bring me back the pieces I need. Tell me. Are they still writhing in your hands? Bring them to me, now! I don't like to wait. It seems we've reached the end of my to-do list, my little errand boy. I hope you enjoyed our time together. I'll always treasure it. Return to the lift. It's time to go home. Have you ever wondered what heaven is like? I like to dream that it's quite beautiful. A soft valley of green grass, blanketed by a warm sun. I don't think I'll ever get to see it. Are you ready to ascend, my little errand boy? The heavens are waiting. Either you were in someone's pocket, or you were putting someone into yours. I just wanted what was promised to me. I just wanted to be beautiful. Surely you can understand that. 
Henry, why are you here? We're all dying to find out. Do you just enjoy the terror of the drop into hell? Because if that's the case, hang on tight. I've got a surprise. <laughs> Meet the new and improved Boris. I took what I wanted, and in return, I gave him so much more. And this time, there's no ink demon, no escape. Forest, tear him apart! Leave nothing! No! No, no, no! Why can't you ever just die? Joey Drew, but I can already tell I'm going to love it here. People really seem to enjoy my Alice Angel voice. Sammy says she may be as popular as Bendy someday. These past few weeks, I voiced everything from talking chairs to dancing chickens, but this is the first character I've really felt a connection with. She's a part of me. Alice and I, we're going places. Everything feels like it's coming apart. When I walked into the recording booth today, Sammy was there with that Allison. Apparently, I didn't get the memo. Alice Angel will now be voiced by Miss Allison Pendle. A part of me died when he said that. There's got to be a way to fix this. Who would have thought? Me having lunch with Joey Giroux. Apparently times are tougher than I thought. For a moment there, I thought I'd be stuck with the check. But I gotta say, he wasn't at all what I expected. Quite the charmer. He even called me Alice. I liked it. They told me I was perfect for the role. Absolutely perfect. Now Joey's going around saying things behind closed doors. I can always tell. Now he wants to meet again tomorrow? Says he has an opportunity for me? I'll hear him out. But if that smooth talker thinks he can double cross an angel and get away with it? <laughs> well, oh, he's got another thing coming. Alice? Ooh, she doesn't like liars.
find me. He, he always finds me. Oh no! I, I just want to go home. When, when do we go home? When do we go home? <laughs>
spend their day in the warehouse arguing over who's supposed to be doing what or playing them silly games. Still, I'm not complaining. I get most of my time to myself. Suits me just fine. Only thing that bothers me is that mechanical demon in the corner. Bertram's been working on it for a month now. Says it'll walk someday and maybe dance. Oh, all it does now is give me the creeps. I swear, when my back's turned, that thing's moving. It's dark and it's cold and it's stuck in behind every single wall now. In some places, I swear this godforsaken ink is clear up to my knees. Whoever thought that these crummy pipes could hold up under this kind of strain either knows something about pressure I don't, or he's some kind of idiot. But the real worst part about all of this are the noises the system makes, like a dying dog in its last legs. Make no mistake, this place, this machine, and this whole darn thing, it just isn't natural. You can bet I won't be doing any more repair jobs for Mr. Joey Drew. These blasted elevators. Sometimes they open, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they come, and sometimes they keep on going to hell and back. I keep telling these people, if Mr. Joey Drew keeps cutting corners like this, someone's sure to end up falling to their death. And it sure ain't gonna be me. I'm taking the stairs. Progress report to Jet Home Office. Client, Joey Drew Studios. Although we're making progress, the client's expectations keep changing. What started as a machine to simply mold life-size figures now seems to be teetering on the edge of magic more than engineering. Although Mr. Drew remains convinced they're the same thing, the process of running the cartoon film through the machine for the figures to imprint upon themselves is going well. We've had several near successes. One weird note. The first figure ever created was a failed attempt in the likeness of the character called Bendy. Since that time, no other attempts of this particular figure have emerged. And the one that did? I don't know. There's just something unworldly about him. No, for the last time you do that, you blow every pipe in this place. If it reaches 45, you unhook the safety switch. Look, it's not that difficult. Just keep an eye on the cage. Say, uh, the real problem with Mr. Drew is that, uh, he never actually tells us little people anything. Oh, sure. According to him, there's always big stuff coming. Adventure and fame and the like. But, uh, I'm the guy, see, who has to make sure our budgets don't go all out of whack just because genius upstairs went out and got himself another idea. <sighs> Speaking of which, and this is top secret, apparently Mr. Drew has another large project in mind now. And it ain't gonna be cheap. Joey's plan is for this company. The animation sure aren't being finished on time anymore, and I certainly don't see why we need this machine. It's noisy, it's messy, and who needs that much ink anyway? Also, get this. Joey had each one of us donate something from our workstation. We put them on these little pedestals in the break room to help appease the gods, Joey says. Keep things going. I think he's lost his mind. But hey, he writes the check. But I tell you what, if one more of these pipes burst, I'm out of here. So I go to get my dustpan from the hall closet the other day, and guess what? I can't find my stupid keys. It's like they disappeared in the thin air or something. 
All I can think of is that they must have fallen in one of the garbage cans as I was making my rounds last week. I just hope nobody tells Sammy. Because if he finds out I lost my keys again, I'm out of here. I don't get it. Everyone's walking around here like Grandma just died. Nothing but angry faces everywhere. These people gotta lighten up. I mean, hello, you make cartoons. Your job is to make people laugh. I'm telling you, if these people don't start cracking a smile every now and then, I'm out of here. These guys down in the warehouse get to play games all day while I'm stuck cleaning up after them. They keep laughing themselves out of their own back room. So I said it to him, look guys, I says, you're smart, right? Here's an idea. Why not rig these games to knock open the door if you win? It'll be fun for you guys, and it saves me the trip down here every day. They win for it like a dog to pot roast. I tell ya, if these guys don't stop realizing who the real genius is, I'm out of here. So it turns out it's my lucky day. I got to clean in some of the offices around 2 a.m. last night, and what do you think I find in one of the chairs? A big freaking chocolate cake, just sitting there, practically yelling my name. You know, I work hard. I earn my pay every darn dollar. But you know what this company's missing? Little bit of hidden points. And this here cake, it's a poik. Hopefully no one finds out what I've done. Because if they did, I can tell you what would happen. I'm out of here. All right, let's go over this again. If the pressure goes over 45, I screw with the safety bolt and tighten it, right? You sure? You know, this sounds harder to compare on earwax to beeswax. Look, pal, if you think I'm doing my job and yours, I'm out of here. No, 
way. Oh my! I'm just a lonely angel sitting here on a shelf. At times it seemed if I just dreamed, I'd not be by myself. I never gave up hoping that he would come along. How bleak it seemed till you found me. So now I sing this song. I'll be an angel sent from heaven above. Your little angel, just done for you to love. I'll be an angel, fit me just like the glove. So won't you say a prayer? To me, baby, 'cause I've been waiting and I've been so alone. Ain't had nobody I could call on my own. So be my angel and say a little prayer to me. And when I fall, it's into your arms. I never could resist all your charms, you devil. <laughs> It's far too late, my soul can't be saved. 'Cause when I hear you calling my name, you angel. Oh, my heart goes shabu dibu bu shabu bu du wa. Brush off my halo and try out my wings. I'm just your puppet. When you tug on my strings, I'll be your angel. I'll be an angel and fly straight into your heart. Shabu de boo boo, shabu boo doo bow.
No! 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 Tell me another one, Uncle Joey.